We're used to paying for our phones, the gym every month, but how about all you can drink membership at a coffee shop? Wow, Allison Morris is here to tell us about one local cafe's billing model. Hello. Yeah, guys, it's a pretty good deal if you think about it, and the name is one that is certainly going to stick with you. Fair folks and a goat. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah. let you guys simmer on that one for a little yeah. while. They have two locations in the West and East mm. Village, and they are trying to build a community of coffee drinkers, one monthly membership at a time. You get unlimited espresso, cappuccinos, lattes, iced lattes, iced coffee. We have incredible cold brew iced coffee. $25 a month for unlimited coffee? For the caffeine addicts here in New York City, it's a dream come true at Fair Folks in a Goat Coffee Shop. You can come as many times as you want in a day. Um, our only rule is that they're just for you, and you have to finish one before you order another. The average American drinks more than two cups of coffee a day, according to Zagat's National Coffee Survey. The average price, $3.28 a cup. You do the math, that adds up fast. I used to drink coffee at Starbucks, and I would get an iced venti, non-fat latte, and it was close to $6. And now, with $25 a month, it makes drinking two or three lattes a day pretty affordable. Coffee, coffee addiction. More than 1,000 people have signed up for the monthly membership at Fair Folks and a Goat, and some of those customers are buying more than just coffee. Take a look around. Everything inside this well-designed coffee shop, from the furniture to the art to the clothes, is for sale. Looking beyond the actual transaction coming in for a cup of coffee, this is a great way to keep them interested, keep them engaged, and keep them ultimately spending money. Fair Folks is aimed largely at millennials whose tastes can change fast, so memberships are month to month. You can join, quit the next month. And people in New York change apartments all the time, change cities for jobs. It's very sort of, we want the customer to win. We want the customer to get whatever they want. All right, so where did the name come from? The owners say it's a compilation of funny stories that they claim are too long and boring to really get into, but it definitely sticks with you. And this is very cool, guys. Now they're taking a portion of their membership fees and they're giving them to charity. And one of the charities happens to be an organization that donates a goat to people who live in a small village where it can really help oh. them to care for themselves, provide milk, oh, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. So I've nice. seen that charity before, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. It's, uh, maybe Today. that's the way of the future. Yeah. They have cold brew. I know you like cold brew. Oh, I do love cold brew. <laughs> this type of day to sit in a coffee shop all day yeah. long and read. Yeah, not, not much motivation going on. And one day, they'll be like, forget it. You yeah, spend it. Beat it. it. You yep. did your quota. Hit the road.